Okay, so I'm going to be working on this picture today. I already started it yesterday. I blocked it in yesterday, so it's now all dry. And I just worked on this sort of centre point here. But today I'm going to be concentrating on this group of trees here. And it's going to look something like this. Um, it's not a terribly high resolution photograph, but it should be fine just to do this. Um, let me show you what colours I'm going to be using to do that. So we've got Burnt Umber, Thalo Green Yellow Shade, I've got Cerulean Blue, Hue, um, Cadmium Yellow Light, I probably won't use too much of that, Ivory Black, Windsor Lemon, Dioxine Purple, Purple, Cobalt Blue Hue. So they're the colours I'm going to be using and I'm going to start off by just putting a glaze over this area here and then I'll go ahead and sort of build these trees up here and put the branches in afterwards. So let's get going on that now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the glaze. I'm going to start with some liquid and I'm just going to put, just colour that a little bit, that liquid with some ivory black and just a touch of the um, sap and I might for the darker areas I might have to concentrate that a little bit more. In fact I'm going to need to do that anyway. So just really putting it to get that sort of more mottled look there. As you can see what that's doing. So it's just giving you putting in those darker areas. Where you've got more heavily shadowed areas, I'll go over that bit with a little bit more, um, or add a bit more paint to the, to the liquid. So now we've got that area darkened a little bit, we've got those shaded bits in. What I'm going to do now is build up on this tree here uh, and then of course do the branches. And once we've done that, then we'll do the detailing on the trees. But let's get that done now. Um, colour needs to be a little bit different. We've been using a glaze to do this, so we've just been darkening the colour that's already there. Um, but this is it's not as dark as this. It's quite, it's quite light up here where it goes over the sky. So I'm going to just add, to the colour that we were mixing, I'm going to add some Windsor Lemon and a bit of Cerulean Blue. So that's going to give us a cooler green. Maybe a bit of that Cobalt and a, a little bit of Titanium White. Because you want it to be nice and light. A bit of dioxine purple. Let's see how that is. Don't want to be too dark, but well, then again, you don't want to be too light either. So you've got to get a balance. Using the same brush, a bit more of a dry brush. I think I'm going to add a bit more dioxine purple, and then we'll get that. We're going to get that filled in now. Okay, so that's now finished. For those of you interested, I was using this uh, tree and texture brush, series 32, and the size is 3 8 by Rosemary & Co. Uh, but now I'm gonna move on to Rosemary & Co, series 771 
This is a size two rigger brush and I'm gonna do the branches. So I'm gonna just darken up on the color that I was using. I'm mixing straight in there, although that's a green. Just mixing a bit of, a little bit of ivory black. Just needs to be a little bit darker than that paint that we put down. So that should do it. Now I've mixed also in with that some thinner just to get it to flow properly. Right, so now we've done the branches, let's move on to the trees or the, the um, foliage on the trees. So I'm gonna go straight in and mix a nice sort of mid-green. Let's have a look, I think I'm, I need to put some more paint down there. So it's quite a cool green again. And I'm just mixing straight in with the color that I did already put down there for doing the branches. So phalo green yellow shade wins a lemon and titanium white. I've got a feeling that's probably slightly oversaturated. I'm just going to add a bit of cerulean blue there as well. See how that looks. It's not too far out. I think what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of brown. Just take the color down a little bit, a little bit of black, a little bit more white. And I'm using series 2055, size one from Rosemary Co. And I'm just using the corner. So let's uh, maybe mix that colour. And although it's going to change as we move into, you know, move closer into this area here, that obviously becomes warmer, and so does that. The technique's going to stay pretty much the same through most of it. So let's get going on that.
what we've got here now is for me it's a little bit too neat the outline of that tree there so we're going to put in a few more gaps and, and I'm going to bring over some of the leaves sort of into the sky a bit more I'm going to put a few more gaps in this area here as well and then put some more leaves on this tree here but there aren't many on there anyway so we're just going to do a scattering so going in straight with the white there maybe a bit of cerulean blue we'll put the gaps in first let's see color wise yeah that's probably okay probably don't need too much thinner just trying to make the the tree a little bit less neat the uh, edges of the trees are rarely that dense And now, just bringing some of these areas out into the sky. They can be a lot cooler green, so I'm just adding a bit of cerulean blue. One of the biggest mistakes I see other people do with the trees and foliage in general is it's sometimes just too neat. And you don't, you know, you don't have the uh, outside edges of the trees and riverbanks and things looking as if they've been cut with a, a hedge trimmer. So it's messy. You need your landscape has to look has to look a bit messy as well. 